God, we are going to share this morning on the theme, Red Light. Red Light. Red Light. Red Light. In every aspect in our lives, in the community, in the society, we realize that there is red light, red traffic light, red light. There are some things that we are going to be sharing this morning that we pray as we come into the understanding that whatever yoke, whatever impediment, whatever blockage that was standing in our lives, we pray as your wisdom penetrates, as your knowledge penetrates this morning, oh Holy Spirit, that bondage, that blockage be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to read from Daniel, the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6, I'll read from verse 1. The Bible says, Darius decided to appoint 120 governors to hold office throughout his empire. In addition, he chose Daniel and two others to supervise the governors and to look after the king's interest. Daniel soon showed that he could do better than, better work than the other supervisors or the governors. Because he was so outstanding, the king considered putting him in charge of the whole empire. Then the other supervisors and the governors tried to find something wrong with the way Daniel administered the empire, but they could not because Daniel was reliable and did not do anything wrong or dishonest. They said to one another, we are not going to find anything of which to accuse Daniel unless it is something in connection with his religion. Red light. Child of God, each and every one of us we have a season, we have a moment in our lives that there is a red light. The red light on the road, the traffic red light does not care, does not bother. I want to ask us this question. Does the red light on the road, the traffic red light, before it pops up, does it look to identify who is in the car before it changes into red? Does it identify whether it is an expensive car or a cheap car? Does it identify whether it is a king, a president, a thief, a righteous person or not who is in the car before it turns into red? The answer is no. It doesn't matter who is in the car, what type of car is on the road, once it is the time it changes into red light. It changes into red light. Red light signifies moments in our lives as children of God, moments of trials, moments of tribulation, moments of sickness, moments of stagnation, moments of persecution. Those moments does not care whether you are a king or you are not. They don't care whether you are rich or not. They don't care whether you are righteous or not. Those red lights will always come to your life. Those red lights will always come. As a Christian, as a Christian, sometimes we will ask the question, a man, a servant of God, a Christian man, or a Christian woman will ask the question, I would wish or I would love the way the man is so prayerful, the way the man loves God, he would think that, oh, God, if you can give me a woman who loves God the same way, or a woman will be praying and saying, Father, why is it that my husband does not love you the same way? If two can just become so one with God, imagine what will happen if your husband is so prayerful, 
your wife is so prayerful you both love God so much you don't allow anything about the devil come through your family how dreaded how powerful that marriage would be but we will realize we will identify that in every marriage when the man is so devoted to God the woman will not be the same if the woman is so devoted to God the man will not be the same red light it comes a point then the man will be praying and asking questions if you go to 10 Christian homes you will realize as a Christian that you will scarcely find that union and the cry is always God why can't we just have a community of two who understand themselves how powerful it will be but you always see either the man is so much faithful to God and the woman is just there like a passerby not that she doesn't love God not that she doesn't she doesn't know God is God but the same interest is not there what is wrong what is happening red light brothers and sisters there came a point in the life of Daniel after Daniel went into the land of Babylon Daniel decided that he would not abide to the things of the land he will not eat their food he will not become unclean by doing the things that are not of God in the land and God showed up God proved himself to his servant Daniel and Daniel was appointed a governor Daniel saw and the friends everything was moving so well for them everything was so good Daniel was having a nice time Daniel was having a good time there come a time in your life that you are moving on the green lights that is just good good you're just passing you're just going but it comes a time that the light at the traffic station changes into red you must stop red light is not your enemy god has put a red light in your life to pause you for a while nobody bypasses the red light if you bypass the red light you pay penalty you pay a fine that fine in the spiritual realm that you pay you either pay with your blood and that is why most red lights or red lights are red it represents danger it represents blood if you are the type in your life that they put a red light what is the red light to give permission for others to pass when somebody passes you no matter how fast they move there is a point that they must stop and wait for you at the red light no matter how advanced somebody has gone no matter you sit you are moving and you see all your friends have gone ahead of you they are far gone there is a point there is a red light that is waiting for them no matter how you fly on the road on top speed there is a point of red light that you must stop if you don't stop you bypass you go against the traffic rules the traffic lights and you pay a fine that fine might be an accident because it's not the time for you to pass and you are passing it is illegal and you can crash it can cost lives it can kill can destroy property if you come out alive or if others come out alive because you have gone through you have passed the red light that you are not supposed to pass spiritually as christians god put red light in our lives there comes a time there comes a time as a child of god you pray for a child there is a red light you pray for a job there is a red light you pray for money there is a red light you must obey the red light daniel taught 
everything was just going to be smooth. Everything was just going to be good. When the king honored him, everything was fine. He was honored. He was given royalty. He was given a good house, a good place, catered for servants to live. Everything was good in his life. When it is a green light in your life, there is prosperity. You are free to move. The choice is yours. When it is green light, the choice is yours. Either to move or not to move. The choice is yours. If you don't want to move, when it's green light, it's your time to move. You decide not to move. You can move your car out of the traffic, out of the way. You park by the side. It is green light. It is your time. If you like, don't move. You won't be arrested. You won't pay any fine because it is your right either to move or not to move. But you must not disturb others in your decision not to move. When it is your season of prosperity on earth, when is a time that God is blessing you? Because God says in the book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time to plant and there is a time to harvest. There is a time to cry and there is a time to laugh. There is a time to rain and there is a time for drought. There is a time for everything. When it's your time of green light, move or you stay. It's your choice. But when it is a time of red light, you have just one choice. But to stay, if you try to cross the red light, it is blood that you shall see. In the spiritual realm, many have died. Because when it is their time for red light, that God wants you to stay in the same position. Either he is preparing you for something big in future. Either he is preparing you for a new life, for a new stage. You say you don't want to be stagnant. You don't want to stay at the same point. Child of God. Nobody likes the red light. Nobody likes the red light. The red light is a time of discomfort. It's a time of pain. It's a time of sorrow. It's a time of loneliness. It's a time of sitting in the same position. It's a time of stagnation. It's a time of boredom. Nobody likes the red light. Daniel went through a season of red light. When he came to that point of red light in the life of Daniel, Daniel wept. They said nobody should pray to their God. Daniel said, I shall pray to my God. He knew the red, it was a season of his red light. Jesus knew it was a season of his red light in the garden of Gethsemane. And either he went through it with pain in his heart, with agony, with anguish, and sacrifice his blood, or we remain prisoners for life. He chose the hard way. He chose to obey the red light. He chose not to move. He chose to stay and wait for God. How many servants of God have we sent to their early graves? How many servants of God have we killed? Because when it's your season for your red light, you refuse to persevere. You refuse to go through the insult. You refuse to go through the humiliation. Listen, as a child of God, you are called. For how many years have you been a Christian? If I should ask us this question, after going attending a medical school for seven years, 10 years, 14 years, when you graduate, at least there will be something. When they ask you, what do you know in medicine? What can you do? What do you know? There are some basic things that even when they wake you up from bed, you'll be able to do without thinking. You'll be able to do without looking through your book. You, be, you know it in you because you have learned it. If you are an engineer, you are a pilot, no matter the field, 
after so many years of study, when you come out, they ask you, what do you know? There is one or two things. You can at least prescribe medications, even for fever, without you looking at the book. You can do that, you know. As a child of God, if we are asked for all these years we have been a Christian, what do you know? What do you know? We will be shocked. Even us Christians, even us pastors, it is a difficult question because the spirit is different. The things of the spirit are completely different. And that is why we are all learning every day. That is why we are all learning every day. God expects us as a child of God that there should be something after learning him for so many years, after you've been a Christian, after you've known God for so there should be one thing that you should know of God. At least one thing. It could be that it's a God that never fails. Just that one. How do you prove it? Your experience. Your experience. But if you know that he is a God that never fails, and when trouble comes, you are still running about, then there is nothing you can say you know about God. If you say he's a God that blesses, when trouble comes, you still doubt, then you have not still learned. Then you don't still know God. What do you know about God? We have caused the death of many servants of God. We have caused their deaths. As Christians, so many years that we've been Christians, what do we know? The time of our red lights, we complain, we murmur, we run about. We have caused men of God to jump the red light in trying to save us. They sacrifice their own blood. They pass the red light. God made that red light in your life. So you will stand still and wait for him to do his work. Life is not meant about all the green light all the time. You cannot have green light in your life all the time. That you just be moving, moving, moving. You just be experiencing prosperity, prosperity, happiness, happy. No, it's not possible. Not on this earth. Not why we are on this earth. If Jesus did not have use for servants of God on earth, he will not be sending them. He will not be calling them every day. There is a lot of criticisms. Oh, servants of God. Oh, pastors. Oh, these are fake. They are immoral. They are that. But God is still calling them every day. Don't be deceived by the works of the devil. If God does not need them, if they were not important, God will not be calling them. It's true among the mist. There are also others of the devil. It's true among the mist. There are those that God has called. And they are going through challenges. We need to pray, support, and encourage them. And not isolate them. And not discard them. Because God called them. He knows that there shall be a red light. Joseph had a red light throughout his life. That he spent years in prison. It was a time of red light. When you take your car, you start driving. You don't see the red light and the green light immediately until you get to the traffic station. Yes. When God gives you revelation about your life, about who you become, you have entered the car you are going. Until you get to the station, then you know that there were points that you have to stand. Then there, you know that there are points that you meet disappointment. Then you know that there are points that you have to meet disgrace. Then you know that there are points that you have to meet sickness. And God expects you at that time. But at the beginning that you were entering the car, he did not tell you that you meet a red light. Don't jump your red light. Your red light will cause your blow. Because the red light is meant for others to pass. For others to give way. In the spiritual realm, there is order. There is order. There is order. You must follow that order. If you don't want to die before your time, if you don't want to sacrifice your destiny by your own hands, you must obey the red lights. 
Abraham obeyed the red light. For 25 years, he was waiting for a child. What is your red light? It comes to anybody. Whether you are a king, whether you are a low class, the red light does not determine who is in the car. Whether it's the president that is in that car, you must stop. Whether you have the most expensive car, you must stop. Even if at the airport there is red light, there is a point that the plane must stop. No matter who you are, you must obey the red light. Red light! Don't pass the red light. It is your blood that is gone. It might be the blood of your children that you have sacrificed. It might be the blood of your destiny that you have sacrificed because you jump your red light. Child of God, some red lights can last one minute. Some red lights last 30 seconds. Others last two minutes. Depending on where you are found. Your red light might not be my red light. Do not think all the red lights are the same. Do not think all the challenges are the same. If you are a Christian, I want to encourage you this morning. I want to break some protocol this morning. That you might just be in a red light in your life. Stay patient in that car. Wait for the light to change. Be patient. God knows that there is a red light. God put a red light in your life to prepare you. It might be you have been running too fast. You have been over speeding. Without that red light, you might crash and die. It might be you might be running too fast financially. You might be running too fast academically. You might be running too fast in your marriage. You might be running too fast with your life. Anything is just going too fast, too fast. You graduate from school. You look for a job. You just have the job. You get a beautiful wife. You just start having children. Everything is going so well for you, so fine. You apply for visa, they just give you. You are traveling through all the countries in the world. Everything looks so good. A red light is coming. When you see that red light, don't be afraid. Don't murmur. Don't cry. Why is my life not moving? For the past one year, for the past two years, I have been at the same spot. My finances have not changed. My life has not changed. My life has not moved forward. My life has not gone to any... I am at the same spot. What is happening to me? It is not the devil that is after you. You are at your red light. Stop! Listen. Pay attention. Listen to God. Watch when the red light will change. That's why Jesus says, watch and pray. You don't only pray, but you watch. If you don't watch, a red light might change to green. And you'll still be there praying, not knowing that the red light has changed. And other cars behind you will be hooting. Beep, 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 beep. We want to pass because you are blocking them. Watch and pray. It is very important for you to know when is your red light. Don't accuse the devil. The devil has no problem with children of God. You are found in a different class.